I've been getting a recurrent question lately. I've been getting a few of these. And the question is, how do I bring more positive, inspirational people into my life? And how do I get rid of the negative, draining people um, without offending them, right? I want to kind of upgrade my friends, but I don't want to offend my old friends. And I want some new friends. So the first thing I'd like to bring to your attention, to your attention, is that it's not just the positive people that you want and not just the negative people that you want to get rid of. It's actually, it's positive people and it's positive experiences and um, positive moments and positive feelings that you want to create uh, in your life. It's a constant flow of, all, of inspiration and positivity that you want. It's not just the people. So I know there's a famous saying that says something like, um, you are the com a combination of the five people you hang out with the most or something like that. Or you're a, you become the five people who you spend the most time with. Now, is that true? I don't know. I don't think the process is that simple. It's not really a mechanical process. If you want to believe that's true, then I'm sure it is. But I'll tell you that you know, Mother Teresa spent her entire life helping the poor and the downtrodden and the helpless in Calcutta until she died and she didn't become downtrodden and helpless. Uh, so really, the source of the negativity, the source of the drain, and also the source of the positivity and the inspiration is all something that comes from inside of us. When we have the belief that the negative people in our lives are the ones who are causing this to us, so we want to get rid of them, and the positive people in our life, the inspirational people in our lives, are the, one who, are the ones who are causing the positivity, right? the goodness in our life, and we want to get more of that. We're never going to have it because we're always going to be running away from that, things that are external to us. We're always going to be running away from the things we don't want, and we're always going to be running towards trying to get, trying to grab all that good stuff. But in reality, the source of the positivity and the negativity are within, so you can never run away from that, and you can never get it. It's always inside of you, so instead, consider um, how you react to the world around you, how you react to the people and the relationships in your life. Ask yourself how you want to be treated by your friends. Ask yourself how you expect to be treated by people who you think are draining on you, people who you think are negative. And ask yourself in return how you expect, how you expect yourself to treat those people, to treat people who you consider negative, and also how to treat people you consider positive, people you, who you think are inspirational. And when you go over this in your own mind, in your own, in your own heart, how you want to present yourself, how you want to engage in, with your relationships, very interesting things start to happen. One thing that starts to happen is that relationships that you consider to be negative or draining, you actually turn those, you have the ability to turn those into, into positive, uplifting, Relation, uh, relationships and moments, if you'd like. So I'm in Santa Barbara, for example, right now, with two good friends of mine, and they're 22 and 23 years old, and I'm 31 years old. And they're right about bar going age, you know, going out and meeting girls in bars. Now I could choose to say, well, I'm hanging out with my friends, they're 22 and 23, and I don't like going to bars, because I don't really like going to bars anymore, I used to. But I could say, well, I, I don't like going to bars, and uh, these guys are kind of forcing me to do it, so I'm just not having a good time here. But I don't do that. And what I do instead is I go out to the bars again with renewed energy, maybe not to go uh, meet a bunch of girls, but to go and have fun with my friends, to grow out of it, to grow out of the experience, and to revisit um, all of those social experiences that I used to have in my 20s. And we're having a great time with it, and we're all learning new things. So this is the kind of positive mindset, the kind of positive inspirational mindset that I'm talking about. That all that source of negativity and all the source of positivity and inspiration and depression, all of that is within, within you. And we're a constant flow of both positivity and negativity. So that's why you can never, uh, you, you can never try to get rid of all the negativity because it's not gonna happen. And you can never try to get all the, mm, the filling positive light because that's never gonna happen. It's a constant flow of both and that's what causes our peace and that's what causes our fulfillment. Another thing that starts to happen when you ask yourself these internal questions is you start changing the things that you do because you ask yourself, what do I want to do in this situation? How do I expect people to treat me? How do I expect myself to treat other people? And you start changing the types of activities that you do. So if your friends, um, if your friends are like weightlifters and you go to the gym and they're kind of, they're not that cool and they sit around on a Friday night and drink and none of them are very social and you want to be a more social person, um, ask yourself if you really even want to be weight lifting weights, if you really want to be going to the gym. Maybe you want to try out some new physical exercise. Maybe you want to go hiking meet some hiker friends, maybe you want to go to, the, go to yoga, meet some new people at the yoga studio. And so you see that when you start doing these things, you bring in to your life different types of people naturally. It's a natural, pro the natural process takes care of it for us, in other words. So that you actually find less time to do things like working out, which you never enjoy doing, 
which is what brought in people who you never really enjoyed hanging out with in the first place. So shift that mindset. Realize that it's, it's all an internal thing. And when you start following the, your internal flow of things, the external world follows. You're never gonna have to push people away. You never have to grab, you know, try to get other people. Because every time you try to push people away, they come at you harder. And every time you try to run after other people who you really, really like, you really, really want, they go away from you. Because people don't like that. Including you, you don't like people doing that to you either. What do you guys think about that? You like that? Hello? Hello? I think they're ignoring me. Because when you participate, and all of these amazing things, all these amazing senses that are coming into you, you by your very nature become very interesting. You by your very nature become much more exciting. You become much more engaged. 